Hello everyone and welcome to The Long Dark Season 3 Story Mode. That's right guys, it is finally out the Story Mode. Winter Mute series, whatever you want to call it, it is here. So unlike the other Long Dark series is, is, is that I've had, this one's actually going to have more than five episodes because we actually have a storyline and things to do, I suppose. So... I've put off this video for a while just because I wanted to learn the new things that came in the Winter Mute update. New mechanics, the UI and whatnot. So I would argue that I'm pretty good at it now. And well, I guess only time will tell. So there will be five episodes in Winter Mute, which is essentially season one of story mode. So season three, four, and five are not a thing yet, however, Seasons 1 and 2, or excuse me, Episodes 1 and 2 are. So, Episode 1, Do Not Go Gentle, as the storm starts in the background, because that's a thing, apparently. So, Episode 1. Mackenzie and Dr. Greenwood are separated after their plane crashes deep in the northern Canadian wilderness. Struggling to survive, Mackenzie explores the small, lone, lone town of Milton, where he begins to understand the scope of this quiet apocalypse. Oh, and that's so nice. I, I like the art here. It's a nice thing. So I guess without further ado, let us get right into it. I can't move around right now, so... Mackenzie, who's that? <laughs> I can kind of move around now. I have really weird. Oh, interact. I will do so. 
All right, here goes nothing. Cool. Easy, right? Yeah, that's a problem, buddy. We're going to have to fix that at some point. Oh. The long dark. In case you didn't know. Let's see, so space. I need to find shelter. No, I don't. Shelter's overrated. Do we have fuel? This is all new to me. I really like the... Oh. I just now noticed it's the northern lights, like in the, uh, the previews and everything of story mode. Okay, well that's really... that's not... I can't interact with that. Okay. That's really cool. I've never actually seen the northern lights before. I heard... I did... I did a little survival thing just to get used to the new version of the long dark and I never saw the northern lights though I did hear that they can happen I never saw them cardboard box I feel like you should be able to open a cardboard box for the record bandage I'll take that so, okay when, oh first aid study your treatments and learn to 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 triage okay there are many ways to die in the wilderness, obviously. Medical treatments, man-made or harvested from the natural world, will save your life. Use the status screen to check on your health. Apply a treatment using the first aid radial menu. You can also use treatments from your pack menu. Okay. Controls, the key to survival. <laughs> I see what they did there. <laughs> Preparation and self-control are vital to your survival. Check your controls menu if you're unsure of how to do something. This could save your life. Obviously. Alright, so sticks, newspapers, cloth. S more sticks. I hear, like, mechanics are slow. Ooh, cedar firewood just conveniently placed right here in the entrance. What's my condition at? It doesn't... Oop. Fire. Fire provides heat, water, food, and protection. Use the campfire option in the radial menu. You'll need all the fixings. A fire starter, tinder, and fuel. Accelerant speeds up the process. Fuel types impact burn time and heat production. An active fire can be used to cook and boil water, as well as keeping you from the freezing cold. Wait, from freezing death. That's awesome. Okay. Where is this little... There's, like, light coming, right? Like, right? Oh, oh, this thing. Let's pick this up. That would be really cool. So on the left, looks like we have some sort of credits thing going. That's... Am I bleeding? Hold on. First day... What? Uh, Q... C... Um... R... T... Y... U... V... Okay, whatever. Um, so Q... Alright, we need a bandage. And we just have... Plane crash injuries. Okay, cool. So we need to apply the bandage to our left hand, I believe. Cool, we're all good now, except we're probably about to die of hypothermia. So, first things first, we want to get the campfire going. We're not going to put the campfire on this, this nice little thing. We're going to put it right here next to our stomach. Assuming that's where we lay. Um, fire. Also... I have the fancy new computer for this that I kept talking about last season of The Long Dark. Yeah, well, this time, in a second, we're going to take a look at our, look at our graphic settings. And then you're going to take a look at the nice 60 FPS this video is in. And then you're going to leave a Fire's comment saying, that's amazing. This is all. Oh, wait. Can I, okay, cool. Yeah, okay. Quality. Look at this. Everything on. This thing's on full. Okay, yeah, full. And like even all these things are up, which normally aren't a thing. So yeah, that is basically as amazing as things get right That's now. All I have in me. So I can't walk around lay right now. Need to lay down before I fall down. Day two. Here goes nothing, right? Alright, status. This is your early warning system. When you bring up the quick status or the radial menu, you'll get a preview of your current condition coming to theaters near you, as well as information about the how cold, tired, hungry, and thirsty you are. Anytime one of these status indicators is empty and red, this means you're losing condition. Lose all of your condition and you'll die. That's pretty self-explanatory. 
Do bones burn? I feel like bones would be burnable. Oh, there's nice. That my blood is still on the snow from last night. That's good. That's good. Um, let's see here. I, oh, I can't sprint. Okay, that's weird, but okay. We'll just grab us some sticks or something right now, just while we, you know, freeze to death and, um, whatever it's called when you die of thirst. I don't, can't remember what that's called, if, if it even, oh, and I'm starving too. Some debris from the crash, alright. Oh, I crashed up there. Oh. Oh, that means I fell all the way down here. That must have hurt. How am I alive right now if I just fell down? Oh. Okay. Conveniently placed MRE right here just for me. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. Antiseptic, wooden matches. This is a really small crate. Oh. Well, okay, now I'm going to... Oh. Oh, and there's a... Oh, right, I remember. If you break down crates, you can sometimes find... You don't know these yet. Okay. Oh, don't need these yet. Well, that doesn't mean I can't get them. <clears throat> All I need to do right now is start being extremely tired. So tired that I'm about to die. And then, you know what? I'd be great. You know, I would have a nice... Not trifecta, but whatever uh, the four version of trifecta is. I would have that, but see right here at the bottom radio menu thing. Okay, so we're going to burn a book because... I hope my teacher watches this. I hate books. Here, at the bottom, looking at this little branch next to us, to the left of the fire, the one we slept on. It's all white. I'm pretty sure tree leaves here in Canada aren't all white, unless they're covered in snow. So that raises the question, how is this covered in snow or frozen if the snow or, or water can't get in here? Ah, uh, accuracy, isn't that a wonderful thing? So, Cut smarts. Sure Never heard that either. Okay. So, um, okay, I guess, um, status. Oh, and now I have an infection risk for this thing. Well, luckily for me, I found some antiseptic earlier. Again, conveniently placed right next to my cave entrance oh, I don't here. Feel so good. I need to rest up. Yeah, if I had a cut that size in my hand, I wouldn't feel that good either. So, I mean, yeah, what what better thing to do than to rest up in the middle of a snowstorm? The weather's turning bad. Yep. I'm gonna need a good long fire to keep from freezing to death. A good long fire. Well, all right, let me make a rough estimate right here. There's probably going to be an insane amount of sticks and wood just sitting right out here just for me. At first glance, I think I'm right. Also, this is going to give me Can't epilepsy. Feel my feet. All right, I'm freezing right now, and I'm freezing real fast. So... I can move really fast right now for some reason. Do I normally move this fast? I don't think I normally move this fast. I'm moving faster. I love this. Weather is actually really loud right now. Campfire. All right, 95% to start this crap. Let's do it. I, I still think bones should be burnable. I'm looking right at it right now. You just... You can just make a campfire out of those bones. You just set the bone on the fire. And there you go. Yeah, because like in movies, people burn all the time, right? <laughs> And my bed thing is still all snow covered and stuff in the cave, even though it's had a fire on it for the past two days. That's, yeah, thank goodness for that. We're just gonna drop. A, oh, I just threw my stupid cedar wood in there. Okay. Um, J for journal. Build a fire that will last through the night, which is nine hours long. Oh. This better get up to nine hours. Good. Yay! Now it did. Warm up before I freeze to death. Yes, that's that's a good idea. Let's warm up before we freeze to death. So
Oh, there's control. That should last me through the night. No. Okay. So tired. Nine hours of fire. Wish I had a fire that would last. Oh, wait a second. I have a gas fireplace. So it will last that long. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice if you had gas fireplaces here in the long dark? The game lied to me. It said that the night was nine hours. I have almost two hours of fire left over. To find some food, alright. Well, you know what I'm going to do if I have two f two th this long of fire left over. Okay. Don't throw that. Extinguish it. And go ahead and put, put that away and take another torch from it. We'll go ahead and snuff the crows. Your eats are the best survival tool. Pay attention to s to your surroundings and you might glean information that's important to your survival. For example, a murder murder? A murder of crows circling up ahead might suggest an animal carcass or even a human corpse might be nearby. Well, isn't that dandy? I'm guessing there's some crows. Oh, look at that. There's some crows up there. That's convenient. Getting weak. Getting weak. Oh. There was a hell of a storm last night. Blew that tree clean over. This tree? I thought this tree was like that before. I guess it really wasn't. There's some convenient cedar stuff all over the place around here. What kind of clothes am I wearing? These are... Oh, I'm not even wearing a coat. That's... That's retarded. Why would I not wear wear a coat? Why did I not bring a coat? I live in a place that's extremely snowy, I'd assume. Why would you not bring a coat? Planes don't Astrid's normally pack. have air con air conditioning, do they? Astrid's pack. Nine one three. I'm guessing the code is zero zero zero. Locked. No, buddy. Try zero zero zero. Or not. Oh, here, oh cutscene. I should probably shut up for this part. It's a nice iPhone 4S. I have an iPhone 4S. Jack Rabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. Pretty, pretty crappy. Did we well, freeze? Well, slow down, Morgan. What are you talking about? It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Are we going to get shot? Uh. Hello, oh, Will. No. Okay. Wh what are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... Hey, it's the case. You, I mean, are you sick? <laughs> no, no, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. It's a map. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions. Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad. But it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. 
Astrid. Let's you do can't it. Bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. <clears throat> well, I'm guessing that it w was a pretty rough ride. Given that our plane has kind of, you know, crashed on the edge of a mountain. And that we're somehow alive, and that probably well, the other person is still alive. Asper was ready to die for it. I hope she hasn't already done it. Okay, so I can't, I can't do anything with this bag, that's good, real good, uh, yeah, alright, can I shoot crows, I feel like I've done that before, been able to shoot, <sighs> okay, clothing is armor against cold, out in the wilderness, clothing is like armor against the elements, wear layers to stay warm, and remember, wind is your enemy, clothing offers different protection from cold and wind chill, your clothes can get wet from blowing snow or if you fall into water, which makes them ineffective and increases your risk of hypothermia even or even frostbite. Keep your clothes as dry as you can. Finally, clothing can protect you from physical injuries as from falling or tangling with wildlife. Balance all these factors against the weight and mobility cost of your combined clothing. Alright, that's cool. Anyway... I actually knew all that already, but whatever. Can I, can I climb? Climb, okay. That's cool. Except I don't, I don't, I don't want to climb it. Is that animation new? Whenever I did stuff in the, uh, in the, what should I call it? In the survival mode thing, I never got that cool animation. Oh, that's pretty. Raw meat, everything you eat can kill you. Oh, oh. When starving, you may feel desperate enough to take your chances, but in general, eating raw meat is a bad idea. Cook it over a fire to avoid getting food poisoning or parasites. Cooked meat also lasts longer and attracts fewer predators. So basically, there is no reason at all why I shouldn't cook my meat. Cool. So I am going to head back down into my little cave of happiness and I'm going to warm up and cook this meat and then I suppose we can try to get out of here if there's nothing else that we have to do which I'm guessing that there isn't because the game would tell us, right? And I still can't sprint even though it's been like four days I better be able to sprint and like later on in store maybe I have to unlock it Okay, so I'm starving, and I'm freezing, and this is just a great day all over. And there's a storm coming, probably. I love this game, it looks nice. It's like where I'd want to live, just maybe with a bit more civilization. Honestly. Okie dokie, I keep thinking that these things right here are branches, but they're not. They are, in fact metal things from my plane which is unfortunate that it went down because that looked like a nice plane old but nice this is just part of this thing which likes to confuse me and this is a cardboard box which I don't really need no stop warming up again you're not cold you're just really cold Wait. You're not warming up. You're just really cold. There we go. So don't tell yourself. Okay, I have some accelerant, but why use accelerant when you can use sticks, right? I don't think that actually increased my chance of starting the fire, but hey, whatever, right? 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 Yeah, okay, that's good. Come on. 
I wonder if I have life on here. There we go. Funny how that works. Uh, let's see. All right, gamey venison. All right, cool. Better than no venison, I suppose. It, what would be really cool is if, like, the heat output of your fire affects how fast things cook. That would be something cool to model in. I should really send Hinterland a message about that. That would be really awesome thing to see. I'll just plop that in there. And then cook the last one. My condition is extremely low. That's a problem. I don't want to leave with that kind of condition. So, what am I going to do, you ask? I'm going to eat said gamey venison. And I'm going to eat more of that gamey venison. And then I'm going to drink all the water I have, and then we're going to go to sleep and leave. Yep. Cool. I have an affliction. What is it? Oh, plane injuries. Okay. Psh, who cares? Um, Jay. Explore the ravine. See if you're strong enough to climb out of the ravine. Well, I guess I don't have much of a choice. I really don't feel like dying right now, though, so I might just go ahead and pass time for an hour. That way, I can't, okay, I can't pass time, and I don't have a bedroll, do I? I do not. All right. That is good. That's, that's real good. So basically, well, okay, here's the thing. If I can't even sprint, I don't feel like I'm going to have enough strength to get out of this ravine. Yeah, no, probably not. But I suppose there's no harm in trying, right? Can I take this branch? I don't have a hatchet. Maybe I can find a hatchet around here somewhere. And I can't, can't, okay, climb. Oh, I, I don't have to move. I, Oh, face plant in the snow. That's good. See, I called it. We were not able to. Okay, Rose has Mother Nature's painkiller. Sometimes Mother Nature is your fa pharmacist. Craft Rose hips into a preparation that I, that can be boiled in water to produce a tea with pain relieving properties. Keep your eyes open for other natural remedies. Hmm, that's, that's well convenient. Now there's three rose hip plants just sitting right here. What happened? Oh, it healed my sprained ankle somehow. And I'm somehow back it's at my little cave. I think I can climb out of here now. One way to go up. That's the truth. Alright. Guess we will be going up. I don't have to use WAS or D or anything to go up this, so... I, wow, that was one heave right there. Holy crap. Okay. Rose hips, let's do this. Maybe there's some more food up here. That would that would really make my day. Can I harvest this branch? Um, no, it's just a branch that looks exactly like a branch that I can harvest. Got it. This is an insane amount of rose hips. Like, do you know how much rose hip tea I'm going to be able to make with these? Like, for real, I I'm probably going to be able to make about. Ten cups of it, at least. There we go with the heave again. Yeah, mate, I'd be tired after that kind of work, too. Can I go back down this? No, I can't. All right, can I fall? I'm just I think I'm going the right way. I actually didn't hear what he said, but you know what? We can fix that, though. Audio master. There we go. Sound. We might as well turn that down a little bit. Music. Who cares? Why wasn't my sound all the way up in the first place? Getting near the top? How do you know that? You might... There might just be another mountain right over this little thing here. Or well, there might not be. I'm probably getting near the top. And he... Finally made it. Finally made it. That's awesome. Okie dokie. And I'll just take these rose hips here and... be on a... How many rose hips do we have? 104. Okay. Thank you.